Greeting. This broadcast will be distributed to Spotify as well as iHeartRadio, Google Podcast, and YouTube. Moving on to the topic of today's episode, which is how to become a quality, a high quality American woman for a high quality African man. All right. Number one, evaluate yourself. Ladies, do you have low self-esteem? Are you waiting on just any guy to tell you you are the bomb? If so, you need to work on your self-perspective first. If not, you will not be able to see through that. Sexy African swag smoke. And will attract a lot of low quality African men who will waste your time with lies and deceit. You will be duped and this will cause you to view all African men in a negative light. Okay. Number two. How is your appearance? Are you taking the time to look And smell great. A high quality African man is looking for a woman that cares about her appearance. Many African men love to show off their women to their friends. And I meant their woman. I'm sorry. Many African men love to show off their woman to their friends and family by looking great. You feel great. And high quality African men notice this. Number three, are you willing to be fascinated by the African culture and background of the man? If not, don't look for an African man to date. Knowledge of his specific region must be studied so you can understand how to connect with him. Um, I told I told you all in a um, previous video I did about my friend who's from Nigeria He's from Benin City and how he's so crazy about the history. And I see that that excites him. Like, you know, talking about the history, talking about the land and the culture, it just sets off some type of (laughs) excitement bomb in him, you know. So since I know he likes that, I like to, um, you know, study about the region and yada, 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 even some of the dishes um, so that when we get together, we could talk about it. Or what not. Um, all right. So once you get a quality African man, find what excites him and keep that fire burning. I will make an upcoming video on how foreknowledge of specific areas of Africa will draw a quality African man in ASAP. I'm telling you, that video is going to be hot. I'm telling you, that is the attraction point knowledge. Trust me, you will learn a lot from that video. All right, so I'm going to make it soon. Number four, are you willing to cook some traditional dishes? Listen, I for one, I know how to cook Senegalese jollof rice, chebu gin, and chebu yap. All right, and I love those dishes. Oh my goodness. I also know how to cook Ghanaian fufu and okra stew. Um, I have tried peanut butter soup and I'm working on that, but I'm not there yet. Ghanaian peanut butter soup. (laughs) All right. So I am currently learning how to cook a goosey soup. I hope I pronounced it right. A goosey soup. And that is my Nigerian friend's favorite. So, um... I will be looking up some recipes on YouTube and on Google, and I will be learning that. So I encourage you to do the same thing. Find recipes online. Google them. Also, look at YouTube. YouTube has a ton of videos. That's how I learned how to make Chebu Jin and Chebu Yat. All right? From YouTube. Your willingness to learn how to cook his traditional dish will excite him to the fullest okay this is gonna really really excite him 
that you are trying to learn about cooking the traditional foods, trying to get in tune with the culture. Number five, sorry, do you have goals and aspirations? A high quality African man is reaching for higher heights. Okay, every high quality. I'm not talking about the lower quality. I'm talking about the higher quality that has his stuff together. Every high quality man that I met is reaching for something higher. He has serious goals. He's not happy where he is right now. He wants to be better, bigger and best. Okay, he could be going to college. He could be working on starting a business. He could be uh, trying to build a house, yada, yada, yada. He is still climbing that ladder of greatness. All right. So the different African men I spoke to told me how they spoke to many American women. And those American women did not have any goals or aspirations for the future. And therefore, they had nothing in common, nothing to talk about, you know. And those men told me how I stood out from the rest because of my plans, because of the plans that I had for my life. All right. Now, in another video, I'm going to talk about, um, you know, the reasons why I did. I, you know, I um, how do I say it? I didn't. I didn't choose the high quality men, okay, because I was in the wrong mindset. So I'm going to talk about the reason, you know, the different high quality men that I missed out. And it was all because of my ignorance, okay. But it had nothing to do with me not having goals and aspirations or cooking and all of this other stuff. It was because I was naive, okay. Um, But anyway, to wrap that up, you need to have some goals and aspirations, Okay, high quality man has these things and he's looking also for a high quality American woman who has these things as well. Number six, are you willing to drop the hoodness? This doesn't apply to all American women. It does not. I'm not hood. Okay, but um. I have seen it where a lady is just being flat out ghetto fabulous in hood. These sisters use heavy profanity and weird slang. They don't care about being a woman of virtue and quality and, you know, showing quality in dress, appearance and language. Only low quality African men would date those type of women and use them for whatever because they don't see value in them because the ladies don't see value in themselves. And that's why I go right back up to evaluating yourself and working on you first before you look for a high quality African man. All right. Um, many of those ladies don't care about being educated or improving their outlook on life all right so um you don't want to be like that you know if you're looking for any type of you know what not just even african man just any type of quality man you need to work on you first okay work on improving you all right so by soaking in these tips you are on your way to discovering a high quality African man. Okay, so that wraps it up for today's episode. And stay tuned to my next broadcast. And I'll be talking about the high quality men that I missed out on because of my ignorance, because of my pettiness. OMG, you do not want to miss this. Okay, so. Thank you for tuning in. Like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Once this video hits YouTube, I thank you again. I put some links underneath the YouTube version of this episode where you can follow me on the different social media platforms and connect with me, ask questions, yada, yada, yada. Again, I thank you. 
Till next time.